Yeah, I would really, really like to explore the classical side, and I've wanted to do, do that really? for a while. Really, really. But I will obviously need time to sit with an ustad and learn all of the technicalities because that's a proper skill set that you need to learn yeah. over time. Yeah, that's not done yet. That's not done yet. Yeah. I'm just singing like that. Yeah. But that's something that I would really love to learn. Right. So, do you see yourself like more of the kind of a soulful singer, background singer, or do you see yourself like more of the kind of a soulful singer, background singer, or do you see yourself like more of the kind of a soulful singer, background singer, or do you see yourself like more of the kind of a soulful singer, background singer, or do you see yourself like more of the kind of a soulful singer, background singer, or do you see yourself like more of the on stage and you know i would really like to be a performer you would want to be a performer there's this one particular performance that i'm absolutely obsessed with and i show everybody this video do you know about that spanish singer rosalia i've heard but not really there's this performance that she did at mtv awards and i'm just in love with it and i was like this Ab- is abhi wale mtv awards no i think it's like a year or two ago okay okay and i was just like this is what i want to be able to do and in that she's dancing and she's performing and it's just she's having a great time and that's mm. one of the things that i really love about you know um singers like rosalia and nusrat fateh ali khan ke whenever they do something they're so they're so immersed in whatever they're doing yeah. that it's that it's enchanting it's yeah. mesmerizing absolutely so yeah. performance that definitely. is that is what i want to achieve so you're going to have to overcome your stage fright i'm going to have to overcome <laughs> first of all stage fright zara chala jaye but you're working on that i am working and, and on that and you you're here for uh, magic on wheels right yes. which is a, a coke a uh, project yeah. in which they're taking their coke studio artists to to people and to students and institutions and how's yeah. that been going for the last one week it's been going great um we just wrapped up recently and um now yeah, all of the kids were amazing they were so talented i had no idea and some of the people they just i mean so many rappers in the crowd yeah. that were doing freestyle rapping which is insane to me huh. because i gave them words on the spot and they just Really, they just went at it, and I was like, "Wow!" I was amazed. Amazed, and they have beautiful voices, and yeah, they're just—they're so young and fresh, and it's so nice huh. to talk to them. Huh. And, huh. Yeah, so, Sh- really Shay, when you're on stage, like for Magic on Wheels, what is your play set? I mean, you're singing Pasuri, obviously, yeah. and you're singing your own songs. Maybe yeah. the PSL anthem. Yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> Sukoon. But uske lava kya? What do you sing? Um. I mean, I mostly sing at performances. This was more more of a meet and greet, right? So that's what I did, right, uh, over here. And I did sing Pasuri, obviously, ha, because ha. We were everybody wants that. it, right? Yeah, but um, I mostly do covers when I'm doing my, uh, you know, gigs, shows, hmm, hmm. and uh, yeah, I'm growing with the whole originals and hmm. everything. And yeah, that's how I'm gonna do more of my stuff. Do more of your and stuff. And then less of covers. Ha! Huh. Is the music <clears throat> industry a scary place? Mm. And then you're coming from college, and you're so young, and you're coming in with very little experience, and then you've got this mammoth hit on your hands. So going from your friend circle, are they grounding you? Are you finding yourself distancing yourself from your friends and family? Yeah, lag raha kya chhame ek alag realm mein ja rahi hu, aur ye alag se logon ke saath. Is it like surreal or kya ho raha hai? Um, I don't need. I don't think anybody needs to ground me because I. myself I'm a very like you know down to earth person huh. and very grounded myself in fact i am that person that grounds everybody okay i'm that friend ha huh. um but yeah it is a little scary because um i mean it's intimidating right it's such a huge industry hmm. in pakistan Bilkul. because i feel like uh, pakistani artists have always been you know they've always had recognition at some level you know hmm. globally hmm. people have known in india too hmm. and um Yeah, there's this responsibility to really, you know, uh, do well in terms of representing Pakistani music, mm. and yeah, also, I mean, I don't want to talk about this, but um, sometimes you hear things about people, and then that gets tricky too. Yeah. So yeah. To navigate. To navigate. Yeah. What the hell? That would be in any industry, though. Yeah, in any industry. Yeah, right. that would be. That's in, right. And also in in music as well, and yeah. television and that. I mean. Yeah, that would be difficult to navigate, but it's something that you have to do, and you learn how to do yeah, it. Yeah, I'm learning. Take it, take it, take it, take it. What is the weirdest offer that's made to you in the last one year? I was just wondering. I'm sure television dramas ki aayi hogi. I did. See, I knew it. I knew it. TV drama ki aayi offer ki kar le drama. And it was about me being a singer and the whole typical thing, and I was like, great. And you said no. I don't. Hey, don't, don't you want that kind of fame? <laughs> I mean. If the script would have been nice, I Haan. would have been like, okay, yes, let's do it. Haan. But we're uh, singing. No, no. Although my, lot of singers have gone crossed over to yeah. television as well. That's true. In fact, almost everybody. The last I think was Atif Aslam. Yeah, who did, who did a drama. And then, But the scripts were nice. If the yeah. scripts are nice, <laughs> not that I watched 
those dramas because I mean uh, I feel like my generation doesn't really watch dramas no, all no. that much we do yeah. but very few like I've seen Odari I've seen Ham Safar Hmm. Uh, a little bit of baghi. I mean, dramas of the yeah, sort. Of the sort. That right. are very outstanding. Ha, ha. But, uh, vaise nahi. but yeah, if, if a good script comes hmm. along, then, then why I not? could try. But also, why would they give me a good script? <laughs> They'd rather give it to, like, you know. No, they want to cash in on your popularity. That's why. <laughs> I mean, that's what they do. That's what dramas do best. They cash on people's popularity. <laughs> but, Shay, okay, so I'm feeling your pressure. There's pressure of Pasuri. Then there's a pressure to perform, and you have stage fright. And there's a pressure of, you know, um, dropping out of college and starting a music career and all of that. Is there a pressure of being also a woman in, in the music industry? Because I just feel that when women become famous in our country, especially, there's this added pressure that, oh, they need to be carrying a cause on their shoulders. Or this will become every woman's voice. She, now she's so popular. Yeah, ye, no she's going to be the, she's going to be yeah. like the flag bearer of feminism. Or now she will say our rights. Now she will sing that song which will be an anthem. Banega. So that's actually kind of nice too, in a way. You, you feel that? I think so, yeah. But I still haven't felt that kind of pressure, like in terms of being a woman mm. yet. <clears throat> so far, I haven't. You haven't. I haven't. Because I feel that one of the biggest music icons, female in our country, is Nazia Asam, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. And she was a that. pop star, and yeah. she sang like the most bubblegum pop, beautiful, yeah. beautiful songs, <laughs> beautiful songs. And and we're still waiting for the next Nazia Asam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see yourself fitting, stepping into those shoes? Is pop like maybe? Yeah, I am. You did, doing you pop. did say that right? Is, huh. Yeah. But you feel that that being that sort of icon for women is something that you you like. You like the idea. I do like the idea of having But that. But I don't want to say that I would want to be this until I actually get there. Yeah. You know, like I yeah. wouldn't want to jinx it. Uh, right. In that way. Because there is a lot of power that comes with popularity, and then to be responsible yeah. with it, That's and you true. know, and and some people do it really well. But yeah. But others. <laughs> no, I think all the women have that. I mean, whether you look at. Amisha, yeah, or whether you look absolutely. at uh, Naseeb Olal and you know what she faced after Groove Tera and if you yeah, look at Anaima yeah. Beg and her true. personal life is constantly under scrutiny and she's That's always true. like fighting for yeah I think I haven't been long enough in the industry in the industry yeah. but God forbid I don't want something you know difficult to come <laughs> yeah, I mean, I say, sir. I try to, but um, I mean I don't know let's see <laughs> huh, let's see let's see what are you hoping from your career now Um, is something happening this there year? There are a lot of things that I'm hoping for, huh. but I'm I'm really private about them. I don't tell anybody. But I will say, huh. I will say that I really want to work on original music, have a lot of music, and hopefully come up with an album, like in a year maybe. Hmm. You're working on your your first album? No, not yet. Okay, but I'm working but you on like to. a couple songs actually. Right, which is why I'm so busy these days because it's Super. like three, four songs right now. Huh. But yeah, other than them. I want to work on mm. an album separately. Yeah, I'm not even going to ask you. Are you on the next season of Coke Studio? Because yes, I know that know. that's no, I will not. Because that is like <laughs> super confidential, and I don't even want to go there. Although I, I even ask Baha Bukti, it's like, "Kete, abhi to nahi kuch pata." I said, "Theek hai." Like, okay. I mean, obviously, that that is the obvious answer. And you're working on your album, so that's looking good. Concerts in the future, 2023. Yes. Happening. Yes. Here. International concerts. Oh, super, yeah. super, super, yeah. super. I'm so, going to Canada in April, right? In April. That's fun. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and what else? Offers um, from TV, yes. Film, playback. I did a couple ads, and yeah. what else did I do? Some campaigns, hmm. and I modeled for Hussein Rihar, which was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing a lot of that as well. A little yeah. bit for the Shahjah and Sarah. Yeah. yeah, those are really good designers, actually. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it's good to associate with the right people always. Yeah, right? that's it's true. It's fun to do that. They're very nice too, like huh. in person to meet. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, she was fabulous talking to you. Look, wasn't Thank that you. short and sweet? Was that was that difficult at all? <laughs> no, no. And But I was just a little nervous. No, you weren't. You were not nervous. I, I don't do interviews that often. I know. I don't know what. Because I get a little confused on the spot. Huh. Yeah. I just don't want to say the wrong thing wrong at any thing. time. Let's finish on, on the filming of Pasuri. Okay. And um, that was a fun shoot. It, it seemed was, like an incredibly yeah. fun shoot. It was, it was. 
Um, mm. It was like a 24-hour shoot, I think, or actually more than that. Mm. It was more than 24 hours, and it was so much fun through and through mm. that even though we were dead tired by the end of it, and I was, I was sitting my right? Because you have to sing so much. Because mm. it was all being, you know, shot live. Yeah. 